Welcome back, everybody, to the Neighbor Star League down at the Nexon Arena Live with Valdez and Moonglade. We just had Rogue getting out of the loser's match over Gumiho 2-1. It was quite close. Gumiho was able to take one win with his mech style, but then Rogue really turned on the Jets, and here he finds himself in the final match. He turns on the Jets, and he's looking a little bit happy now, Valdez. I'm kind of excited yeah. for this. I think we're going to see a great final match of the day. Rogue's going to 2-0 this, no problem. Easy peasy. Oh, man, I hope so, because he needs to get out over Myungshik. We need him in this <laughs> tournament, Valdez. We do not need Myungshik, not today. Although if Myungshik did beat Rogue 2-0 twice, or even just beating him twice, 2-1 would be okay as well. That would be quite impressive, I have to say. I wouldn't mind a slug match. I wouldn't mind, like, a, a long drawn-out game. We have seen Myungshik can play that macro game that no one thought he could, and he can play it pretty damn well. I yeah, mean, man. I was pretty impressed by it. He, he played really well against Rogue in that first match. I think Myungshik needs to just do the same thing again. If he goes for all-ins, I would not enjoy it. Maybe he takes one win, but it's quite risky. But anyway, here are the map choices and bans. Nimbus and Overgrowth banned by Rogue. And Foxtrot Labs and Merry-Go-Round banned by Myungshik. Interesting. Interesting getting rid of, uh, was it Foxtrot instead of uh, Deadwing this time, perhaps? I'm trying to remember exactly yeah. what Myung Street got rid of. But Deadwing, King Sunny Junk Station, and Catalina. Whoa, what a surprise, Valdez. We haven't seen these maps before. Overgrowth as a band that's like breaking my mind right now. We haven't seen well, that in so long. Well, we did see Rogue lose that game, and maybe that's haunting him now. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, of course. It's, I'm not saying it doesn't make sense, but I'm just like, dreams. what? Yeah, maybe it's like, well, I've played this map a million times. It's kind of boring. I want to have fun as well as win this game. <laughs> Deadwing. Uh, Kind of depends on the positioning, and Myungshik probably would go macro like he has been yeah, going. Yeah, would not map. be surprised to just see Stargate straight up at a Myungshik on this map. But regardless, guys, this is the final match of Group C. It is the round of 16 here at the Neighbor Star League. We're jumping into set number one on Deadwing. It's going to be Rogue versus Myungshik. The rematch, Myungshik was able to take a 2-0 the first time. Will Rogue get his revenge? Let's jump into game number one on Deadwing. Down here in the bottom right, in the red, the Zerg player, it is Rogue. Has another chance to take down Myungshik. Up here in the top right, it is he. <laughs> Best intro ever. I had to save that, man. <laughs> I already said his name. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Ooh, and we're going to see a forge come down from Myungshik. Ooh. Being a little sneaky beaky, looking for a bit of a cannon rush to start <laughs> things off here. And I believe in the same exact spots, correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't this where Classic and Rogue were? Where Classic went for that really technical yes. cannon rush and Rogue yes. went for the double proxy hatch that in the it. main base of Classic and was able to win the game. That is exactly it. And my God, I hope we see that again, Valdez, because that was a fantastic game. We haven't made it. Oh, well, okay. I, we're not going to see that at all because we're going to see a pool go down because the probe ran into the main base. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, mate. These things happen for a reason. Yeah, well. Because he scouted too early. Myungshik, you know, with that scout, is actually forcing Rogue to go pool first on a gigantic map. Of course, they are at vertical spawn, so it makes it a bit smaller. And here's the thing, we're not even going to see a forge go down for Young Shrik. He's simply going to make a, a uh, Nexus into a later forge. Yeah. So he's going to have a nice little economic advantage build order to start things off. He's even going to be annoying with this probe and delay that hatch as much as possible. Would he even put down a pylon is the next question. Dare he? <laughs> nope. Too late. If he wanted to, he was too late. He had half a second to do it. Down goes that forge. Obviously, still need that forge in good timing because that was a 15 pool. And yep. you can't get tokens on the map. You are correct, Moonglade. And the probe's going to stick around. The thief he is with the minerals that he has stolen. He did steal them. There is no lie to that. Yeah. And he will take them home and give them to the Mother Nexus. Cool little wall you can set up on Deadwing. 
you guys are still playing on ladder, you can copy this. And third base is going to go down from Rogue. He's also going to send out those Zerglings to scout out the map. Look for any pylons on the map, any potential cannoning of the third base. And these positions, Valdez, you know what? They can be uh, used in two ways. Uh, each race has their own sort of use for them. Uh, for Zerg, for instance, Swarm Host, fantastic to be using in these positions because you can go straight up, straight up vertically, and you will get to the enemy base. You will start sieging with your Locust in no time. And when looking from the other way, I mean, Protoss have a great sort of opportunity to do some kind of a timing attack, some kind of rush, because they are going straight down, man. It's not a yeah. long rush distance compared to cross map, which is an incredibly long rush distance. Very true, Moonglade. As we saw, for instance, with Rogue versus Gumiho, that was cross map. He had to spread creep all across the map, and by the time he got there, we already had Terran on four base mech, making that unstoppable army that crushed him in the end. Yeah, it's really, really scary for Rogue. And the question on my mind, and the question on a lot of people's minds, I'm sure, is what exactly is Myungshik going to do? Is he going to go into a timing attack, or are we just going to see a Stargate thrown on right away? Well, I'm thinking Stargate because of the uh, resources. Yeah, makes sense. Lines up. Yeah. It, it does make sense. And, of course, this doesn't mean that any kind of a two-base attack is, you know, impossible. We, we've seen him do it before against Rogue. This is how he won. It wasn't on this map, but he was able to just go kind of six-gate Oracle all-in type of thing off of two-base in Pro League. He was able to take a win. That is true, and it wouldn't be a bad position to do it in. Uh, I'm sure still Rogue has that in the back of his mind. Rogue did scout the Stargate already with that Zergling in the front of his uh, natural. So he should have Spore Crawlers up in due time. But you know what? If he went for Phoenix again, more power to him because he did a lot of work with those Phoenixes in the first match. He actually killed so much and made them so cost efficient. And there we go again. It's going to be Phoenix opening for Myungshik. Really like it. I really do. Uh, one thing that Rogue is doing also very nicely as we're getting a look here is his Zergling is scouting literally every corner of the map. And that's really hard to do on Deadwing. This is a really, really big map. It is a big ass map, man. But you gotta do it. If you wanna stop any sort of uh, proxy pylons on the map, you have to scout everywhere. You have to know exactly what's going on. These overlords even got, went in and had a big scout as well. We do see Phoenix on the map, and Phoenix are chasing down these overlords now. How and many I'm, gates is Myungshi gonna throw down? Well, three so far, so that's kinda like the, the third base expansion kind of three yeah. gates that you'd wanna add. But there's four. Oh. The prone with a with a Robo Valdez. Five. I it could be an immortal all in. He stopped making Phoenixes too. He's got three well, out he, on the map. He's getting his fourth one. Okay, there now. we go. So oh, a, bit of a, delay. a war prism all in. Okay. A war prism gateway all in. Okay. And this is so cool because Youngsik actually did the same build with the Phoenixes earlier on today against Rogan. He was able to win. Exactly, and look at this. He, he For one second, he kind of scared away his Zergling at the third base with a Sentry and a Probe. That is such a good play from Youngsik, but he's not he's not following up with it. Zergling's kind of running around going like, what's going on? I wonder. And that is such an important scout. And will Rogue second guess that? No, he will not. He is making drones. He is making extractors. This is going all wrong. Well, he texts again, and he's second that third base. He's waiting, he and he's not seeing anything. His, he has to make roaches if he wants to survive this. And we are seeing immortals being made. Huh. Well, the Zergling's going to see the war prison. We should have seen it. Zergling's going into the main. Three roaches be made. 1-1, one, one, going to be finished pretty soon as well. If this is actually an immortal follow-up, I don't think it is, though, because we are seeing that third nexus go down. He should be all right. I think he'll be okay. I think Myungshik tricked us all, Valdez. <laughs> but especially me. Well, he made so many gateways. I, he may just be backing off of what he wanted to do with I the think all -in. Maybe, He delayed that Nexus for so long. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe he was, like, actually going to go for it. But then he ran over that circling. He's like, well, this is ruined. We even see an immortal trapped behind the Robo up there as well. And that's actually a decent amount of Phoenix. This is actually enough to, to pretty efficiently pick off like the uh, the roaches. And 1-1 one, one is finished for these Zerglings, so this is going to oh, be no. a potential cancel on the third base. 
I don't think that's enough sentries here. Uh, no wakey, force field's going down. Okay, full, there's one. Full energy sentry just went down. And Fly now he's trying, trying to go for something here in the main base, but it's not going to happen. Have to pick up there, and this third base is probably going to have to be canceled. Wow. Sentry goes down. There it is. Cancel. And yeah, that's four sentries in this uh, war prism. And it looks like he's going to force field the bottom. Ooh. So potential. Oh, man. All those units are <laughs> stuck in there right now. Oh, that is ruthless. Absolutely Young doing ruthless. so much damage, actually. He, he lost his third base, but he still has a war prism. He's, he's got to save it, though. <laughs> you got to run away. Okay, there we go. Going to get out of here. Oh, he's supply blocked right now. Oh, yeah, he is. There's so he couldn't actually ones. follow up this attack. Oh, wow. What a mistake. He's got a Colossus on the way. Oh, he tries to put them down on the lower ground again, but doesn't get it this time. And these Phoenix is doing so much damage. Finally, some pylons are about to be made here. Some young chick uh, kind of struggled with that for a while. That immortal is still stuck. This yeah. overseer sees everything. And this is a Colossus back there as well, actually, which oh could be no. really helping against these Zerglings that are going to cancel the third base once again. There is nothing to stop this. He can warp in a Zealot, but these are 1 1 Zerglings. They will do very well. Against Zealots that are 0 0 at the moment. And they're doing already a ton of damage. They're, they're finally going for that third base. And with the Roach follow up here, I think it's going to be enough to cancel this. The Colossus is coming in. He's trying desperately to hold this, but the cancel has to come down. Yeah, it goes down. And so do the pylons once again. Thousand minerals. For Myungshik, he should be warping in. He should be doing something with his money. He wants to secure this third base. Yeah. He only needs 400 Veldez to make that Nexus. And Rogue this time seems like the confident one, whereas Myungshik kind of struggling with his multitasking. He's falling apart. He's, uh, his macro is just way off. Finally, yeah. you're, you're actually up. saying it the real way. I was like, he's not doing that well. And you're just like, no, he's actually sucking a bit here. <laughs> I'm a straight up kind of guy, Velo. These probes are trying to save the immortal. Like, come on, buddy, get through here. <laughs> and it's a pretty decent army now. Well, actually, not really. I mean, once these corruptors come in, they can just pick off this uh, this Colossus. But there's a lot of stalkers. It's a lot of corruptors. It's a lot 11. of eleven. Yeah. It's gonna get the mother support. Oh, it's trading pretty well against these uh, stalker sentry as well. These uh, these jugglings. And I yeah. think we'd actually might just see a kill move from here because he's gonna run out of force goes and that's simply gonna be enough DPS to deal with these this many roachling. He's making a wall there for the cannon. He's warping in a lot more units now just to fight straight up. Not enough energy here. And the links have gotten through. Those upgrades are really coming into effect right now. Plus one from Youngshu about only one third done. Oh yeah, and that's plus two Carapace Zerg right now. So it is so hard to kill even the Zerglings at this point. And finally, we're seeing the Immortals <laughs> enter the battle. It has been long overdue. Trapped behind that robotics facility for far too long. <laughs> Look at this. The Colossus drop actually getting some decent damage at the main. Wow. Forcing the Corruptors to turn all the way around. Well, I guess it's simply... Oh, it, there was actually use. It was covering everything from these Phoenix. But still, if you can get this Colossi War Prism... I guess life just gets a little bit easier, right? Yeah. Uh, he's on course to take it out in due time. Although, Ooh, he's coming in. Oh, he turns around the oh, last man. second. Ooh. Ooh. You think, I, guess, I guess he thought that the war prison already went back home or something. Yeah. Could come back to bite him if we can see Myungshik stabilize. And he isn't doing too bad of a job. We actually are seeing the transition into Swarmers finally. Which isn't a bad idea. I mean, look with the creep spreaders. It's knocking on that third door. Another drop coming in here. The Colossus drop. Haven't seen this in so long. And we'll probably never see it again, Valdez. Not, <laughs> not against the Zerg like this. But here we go. Rude. Going to find his way in once more. Trade with some sentries, with some stalkers. He lost a lot of his lings, though. Kind of fighting half and half. He needs more... Force fields, though. He does. He's got, I think, one left, and it's not going to be enough. These uh, Immortals just going to get focused down. And this Colossus is still looking for some. Got 10 kills. <laughs> Finally dies. Finally goes down. The Phoenix has come back for the defense. 
And they are lifting up a bunch of roaches here. He has a lot of gateways still, so he is holding off just barely. The cannon also doing some nice work, protected there. But now a big wave of lings coming in to support those roaches. And again, it's the upgrades. Only plus one here for the Protoss units, where I think it's 2-2 two -two for the Zerg units. It's 2-1 uh, for the roaches. Okay. And 2-2 two -two for the Zerglings. Okay. So very impressive upgrade advantage. Something that you don't normally see from a Zerg against a Protoss. Usually it's the other way around. Yeah. And look at this. 15 Mutas coming into effect. He's already got 11 Corruptors to fight in the air if he even needed to. But there's only like two Phoenixes, two Stalkers. And we see heavy Immortal oh. production against this. Nyungsik is just not going to be ready for this. No way. Not against 23 Mutalisks. No way, no how. And uh, yeah, I, we will see a momentarily GG out. And here we go. Moving out onto the creep Young Young la One <laughs> last hurrah onto the map, into the fray. Wish oh I could no. recite the, uh, the drones. Oh, yes! Finally! We're seeing a kind of get out move. Young Shik going to try his best here. <laughs> One last time. Pretty decent surround, and GG. GG. Rogue takes the game number one on Deadwing. Looking confident, looking happy, happy finally. Happy for the first time. Yep.